Hi everybody, today I will show you how to make SEO friendly website in WordPress. So let's just begin. Alright, so to create SEO friendly website, first thing that we need to do is, is to go inside the plugins and click on the add new plugin. And from here, we will simply install Slim SEO. Okay, so as you can see this, we have our plugin at the top of the search. So I have already installed and activated this. So now what I need to do, I have to go inside the settings and here you will be able to see the option of Slim SEO. Okay, so we have to click on this and here in the Slim SEO, you will be able to see the features that you want to use on your website. So the first feature that we have is the meta title. So this would automatically generate meta title tag. And after that, we have the meta description which would automatically generate the meta description. After that, we have the meta rewards and we have the open graph, Twitter cards and canonical URLs. After that, we have the REL links and we have the sitemaps and image alt text breadcrumbs. So I would disable the breadcrumbs. And we also have the RSS feedback. So I would also disable this and you can also see the option of schema and redirection here. And these all features will be applied automatically on your website by the Slim SEO. Okay, so for example, uh, for the redirection, it would redirect the broken pages, unimportant pages or the old URLs to the existing working URLs. Okay, so after the features, we have the code. So in the code, we have the three different sections. The first one is the header code and after that we have the body code and in the last we have the footer code. So we can use these settings to insert code from Google Tag Manager, Google Analytics or the Webmaster Tools Verification. So if you want to insert this into the header, you can simply insert it into the header and if you want to insert it into the body or the footer, you can simply do it as well. Okay. And after that we have the post types. So in the post types, I will simply click on the post type and you will be able to see the options here. So we have the two different options, the product and post type. So you might have the different options here as well. And if you want to hide from the search result, you simply enable this. And after that, we have the product archive page as well. Okay. So now let's just go inside the social. So in the social, we have the default social images. That is Facebook image and after that we have the Twitter image and we also have recommended resolutions of our image here. So if you want to select the image, you can simply select the image from here. So you can simply put your logo here as well. And after that we have the social media analytics. So if you're using the Facebook or the Twitter analytics tool, you can enter the details below. You can add the Facebook app ID and you can also add Twitter site. Okay. And after that we have tools. So in the tool, we actually have the option to migrate SEO data. So if we are using any other SEO plugin before the Slim SEO, then you can simply insert the data from there. Okay, so if you're using the Yoast SEO, you can simply migrate the data from there. Or if you're using all-in-one SEO or rank med, or you can also see the other options here. So if you have used any SEO plugin before that, you can simply migrate the data from there. Okay. And in the last, we have the redirection. So in the redirection, if you want to add the redirects, you can simply add it from here. So if I just click here, you can see here, uh, we have the different options here. So we have the type, uh, what kind of errors we are having on the current URL. And then you write down the URL and you write down the two URL. And after that, you can write down the note here. Okay, so that's it from here. And if we go inside the post here and click on the add new post. All right, so in the post, as you can see that we have the option of our SEO from our plugin uh, with our post. You can see that we have the meta title and we have the meta description here. We have the Facebook image and Twitter image. And after that, we have the canonical URL. And in the last, we have the option to hide from search result. So this is a kind of quick setting of the Slim SU that you can simply apply on new posts from here as well. Okay, so this is how we can make our website SEO friendly. So if you really find this video useful, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.